So, do you guys remember that bike we put in the garage like six hours ago? Literally in like the first ten parts, I feel like. We are finally about to put it to use. Anyway, welcome back to GTA 5. We are not picking that up. You never want to pick up that coach, Ricky. Anyway, so, I know in the last like couple parts, right? I was a little pessimistic about the game and how long like the cutscenes were. You guys got to understand that I play this game usually... I play this game at a much faster pace, man, and I'm just used to it at this point, right? I got very acclimated to just going fast in this game and not going slow and watching cutscenes, etc, etc, etc. But, I took a little break, so we are back feeling good about the game anyway. This is my favorite mission in the game, and you guys are about to see why. Set some fat fucking old jackass on me, please! Big man! We had a deal! We had paperwork! Hey! Fuck off, Johnny! Hey, you're a couple real badasses! Put a beat down on an old man! Yeah, we don't take that! We have a deal hey. with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! A pleasure. I got you, Solomon! So, the reason this. Wow, I think I messed up. So, the reason this is my favorite mission, right? Is because if you do it right, bam. You don't even have to chase them down. Usually you're supposed to chase them down. That hey, was even slow right there. An old man who might hit back. But anyway, you're, usually That's you're supposed to get in the car, one. chase them down, etc, 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 but we don't do that. We just activate Mike Special and just bam. Come in. Come in. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. What the hell happened to the bike? Is it because we got in the car? The bike should be right here. I don't know where the hell it is. What the hell happened to the bike? There it is. All right. So, yeah, that's why that is my favorite mission, because it's so short. Usually, you're supposed to chase those guys down in a vehicle and then shoot them, blah, blah, blah. But we don't have time for that. Anyway, off to Lester's. So, the best way to do that mission is just hold the left bumper while, like, it's in the cutscene. Or if you're skipping the cutscene, just keep holding down the left bumper and right on the right stick. And then as soon as you have the weapon selected, hit the special. And then you want to aim a little bit above the car. Not actually at their heads, because it's not going to register. So you definitely want to aim a little bit above the vehicle. And usually I get it within three shots. You guys saw there, it took me like 10, something like that. There was a good chance that we didn't get it at, out. Anyway, there's a good chance we didn't get it at all, but we managed, but here we go. Now, this mission is very RNG dependent. It's either, all right, I'll actually explain it when we get to it, I guess. God damn it, I keep forgetting, to, that's a solid thing now, man. Must remember. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, 
This shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Mike, how'd your car magically get over here? Take us to the bureau. Parking garage entry. Why well, can't I not? Sorry, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate. You should be coming out here soon. So the reason this is very RNG dependent is this janitor that comes out is either the fourth or fifth car. So that's... Here we go. So that's the first RNG, right? This is not the car we're looking for. So either so he's the fourth or fifth car and that just wastes time. Situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then the next RNG section is all the traffic lights that it takes for us to drive to the janitor's house. That's it? They could, it could be either green or red, you know, and that just wastes time more and more and more and more, whatever. It, That's it's not just, it. this, is, this mission so is just very do? RNG now heavy. What can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. So that was the second car, right? Usually when I'm on like a good run, I'll get the fifth car. When I'm on a shit run, we'll get the fourth car and like every light will be green. There was one time Something's coming. I literally had like the fourth car plus like nope. three out of five or it's four out of five lights green. However many lights there are, it was ridiculous. Incentives. It was so good. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm going to ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. So anyway, that was three, right? If we're lucky, we should be, it should be the next car. But we got What's fucked. This? Uh, not our guy. See, so we got fifth card. No good. See, the game doesn't even expect it. There's no dialogue in between here. Usually there's dialogue in between cars. So the game doesn't even know about this. That's what, that's how I feel about this one. There we go. That's the one. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. And you know, because it's a follow mission, I usually just like to drive backwards here, because why the hell not? What's going to happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's going to get his severance package. Noisy much? Ugh. Is that a green light? It's a green light. That's one luck. If we get all green lights here, it'll make up for it being a fifth car, right? Whoops. Hey, you mind? 
Put away this the is smartphone not or pad uh, or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. Ooh, second green you light. Break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this Luck car behind that one in between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse. Oh that my God, that was such a quick light. In spades. Nothing suspicious about a guy doing burn burnouts and 180s on the road. Driving backwards right behind him, right? I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Another quick light. What? Wait, nope, nope, nope. We got fucked. <laughs> Never mind. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We're trying to blend in back here, Michael. Fuck you. That's what we got to say about that. And waiting and waiting. That light must have just turned red, huh? God damn it. If he didn't notice that, then maybe he ain't going to notice anything. Yeah, the second you want to take over, give me a shout. There we go, finally. He's turning left up ahead. Is that a green light or a red one? And we'll just turn around right around here. And of course it's red. I mean, the pattern wasn't that bad though. The first like three were pretty green, right? So we got pretty lucky there. It could have been much, much worse. Only downside is we got the fifth car. Now if we got the fourth car and those three green lights like that, that would have been sick. Oh my god, this one must have just turned red as well. There we go. Now, coming up is a little mini game I like to call Why You So Me. And the rules of the game is you gotta be slick. He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. And then while he's parking, we just park it right here, so it shortens the distance that we have to run eventually. And then what I like to do is just hide right behind here, and why you so mean begins. Hey Marilyn, how's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. So it's like that? Why you so mean, bitch? That's how you play why you so mean. I mean, that's not nice, right? She's just using the janitor. Not a good look. So, yeah, during the run, man, I just do that all the time. Because why the hell not? You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Harvey's like, I do not give a shit. Nice little jump. Skip the stairs. I wonder if I could actually park on a sidewalk, oh, yeah. actually, just shorten it up Take even more. I should test it out one day, or someone should. Fuck your bike. Crippled or killed? I'll take bets. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work information gathering what information the plans to the office there aren't any digital copies or if there are i'm not clever enough to find them the architect is ls based so i thought frank could tail him and take a hard copy 
Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Ah, he's already here. So another thing, right? A lot of guy, a lot of you guys have been leaving comments asking why I keep looking underneath the car or behind the car or whatever. It's one of those things that I've picked up over the year that's a seriously bad habit. It does nothing for the run. It's not faster, nothing like that. It's just a bad habit. Hey, what's the problem, Don't do man? it. Steve fucking hates. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. And easy enough. On that, wow. On that note, guys, that is going to be the end of this part. Give the video some likes, add it to your favorites, and share it and all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. Look at us getting so much value out of this bike.